from on the North Yorkshire Moors. Made his way up, raining. We're out in the, uh, we're out in the tramp. Mr. Paul, Mr. Prep, no man, Paul. And, uh, and that's where we headed. We're heading into Whitby. I just wanted to run a couple of days for Whitby Abbey there in the distance. I'll bring you back where we're there. Well, we've landed. Whitby. We're on there. Uh, we're right on Cliff Edge, really. But, 30 40 meters from, from cliff edge. So, uh, wind's got down a bit. We've got the day with the dog, she's making me and Paul a cup of coffee. Aren't you, dear? <laughs> she don't like reading on film. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna have a cup of coffee and then we're going to Edda's Way. There, I don't know if you can see that, but there's Whitby Abbey just there, so we're not far from Abbey. This driftwood here. I absolutely love this stuff. If Kaz had let me, I'd take that home. But uh, she, she not have, <laughs> she not have that. But well, look at that. I mean, this is this is where I'm thinking of having a bit of a fire tonight. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful part of uh, country. And uh, it's not so windy down here at all. Right, I think we're going to have a walk into Whitby. I'll catch you all later. We've just found the first meal of the weekend, but uh, oh, Kaz is not into Bread. it at all. Mind you, Bread. three quarters of it half's okay. gone. We better eat it. Oh. <laughs> it's bigger than the bricks, isn't it? It yeah. is, yeah. Look at teeth on that. Look Well, we're just about to enter Whitby. Uh, I'm not going to ponder around here because uh, if you watch my YouTube channel, then we spend a bit of time around Whitby. It's been a nice little walk actually. There's Whitby Abbey. So uh, we're going to see. Well, Whitby, Dracula, Bram Stoker, and all that. But anyway, this this, this is the allegedly. Well, uh, it is a lovely graveyard as graveyards go. But uh, I'll uh, I'll pan you around here. There, there is stories about. And it is what that how many Paul four with the small cross in there. There's one here. There's one there.
we're just coming down the famous Whitby 199 steps I've just had to be told that I've walked these steps many times but I've never counted them but it's 199 up to the Abbey I love this place well when in Whitby see the wife looking at me. <laughs> As you see, it stopped it. Anyway, we're on the expensive stuff, Peroni, and the wife's on the old Rosie, so anything could happen. A well, brilliant place just to sit on a Thursday afternoon before Whitby Fish and Chips. Uh, we'll bring you back when something's happening. Well, we're on to a second day. Uh, we had a bit of an heavy night last night. Cos insisted that we took her out drinking and uh, I'm going to have a go, I think I might have a go with Mr Scooty's uh, oboe reel I have added a bit to it, I've got a bit of a fish and a few more hooks that I had from a old uh, telescopic reel Last time I was here, so I'm going to deal with a bit of a dog's man. Paul's just chilling out. So we're going to get onto the beach in a bit and uh, see what happens. Have a chill out time on the beach. Uh, we had it every night last night. So, just it's a beautiful day in Whitby. This is Saltwick Bay, and uh, we're gonna cook some fish and have a little fire. And uh, see what happens. Well, I honestly don't know how long Paul thinks we, we're stopping for <laughs> but he's come back with some serious wood Origin. <laughs> I've, I've brought my own wood and uh, just, uh, just a bit, we've got, I've brought my pad, I've even bought an insert for uh, like a cooker I'm going to use that <laughs> I mean that's some serious wood, I mean there is some, some big wood here but like I say we're, we're only going to cook a bit of fish uh, beautiful place and it's a beautiful day there's his larder. Get some wood cut.
Well, Kaz is keeping herself busy. <laughs> I'm just uh, arranging a bit of artistic knifemanship. Oh, on a red hot day like it is, we've got a roaring fire. And I think Fred just wants to get down in the shade with Paul. I think he does. But again, he might be wanting a bit of my ginger pudding. Right? Yeah, I think he does want some bit of ginger pudding. Well, this is what we're talking. Uh, nice sea bass. I'm going to prepare that. No bad size. And get on fire. Well, I'll wrap that up to get it on fire. Are you ready for some fish, dear? Well, this is the moment of truth. Oh, it's ice cream. It's gorgeous. Is that it? Yeah. Fish does have bones in it, cuz if it didn't have bones in it, it'd be a slug. What do you think of that? That was gorgeous, isn't it? Can you try some fish, Paul. Get some bread. Yeah, let's have a bread fish sandwich. Mm. And I have been using the uh, the knife from Mike Bright. So far, so good. That is gorgeous, Paul. Honestly. Oh, it's bomb. Porridge, isn't it? Mm. Well, the fish did go down pretty well. I mean, uh, we've all had a sandwich, and now I've had two, so it's quite quite a lot of meat on it. Well, fish on it. Anyway, Paul's got a. Uh, we send a rat pack and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a brew. It's dead chilled out down here, we've got beach to ascend, we've had beach to ascend nearly all day. And it's also fed the dog. Well the tide's going out again now. So I'm now looking there. A few of these rock pools. See if we can find out interesting.
nice little spot. And this is what it's all about. A full moon rising on the North Yorkshire coast. Absolutely beautiful. And there's a lot coming today, Friday today. And the uh, site is full. Morning. It's a completely different day today. It's had to stop raining all night. Been hammering it down. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're leaving today anyway. We've got to be off site for 10 o'clock. Uh, hopefully, it's going to stop before then. This fire didn't really go that well last night when it started raining. That was it. It just put it out straight away. turned up last night. I don't think they're going to be very impressed this morning. Well, all good things come to an end. It's still raining a bit, but we're heading back. There's Paul here. Look, he's, he's making his way back home. Yeah, enjoy the breakfast. And, uh, yeah, we've had, a, we've had a calf breakfast. Uh, we have to be off site for 10. It's half nine now. So till next time, bye.